Hey there, photography enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something truly exciting for you as we dive into the future of visual storytelling. We're about to unveil the best cameras for photography in 2024 that are set to redefine the way you capture your moments. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all the latest tech trends. All right, let's get started. Number 5 Canon EOS R10 Capture the extraordinary with the Canon EOS R10, a cutting-edge mirrorless camera built for photographers who want the best. This camera is destined to redefine the frontiers of photographic perfection, boasting an astonishing blend of technological innovation and intuitive design. The EOS R10 features a cutting-edge full-frame sensor that produces superb image quality even in low-light situations. Expect outstanding clarity, dynamic range, and color reproduction with sophisticated sensor technology. Take use of the power of high-speed continuous filming to ensure you never miss a moment. The quick autofocus mechanism on the EOS R10, along with increased tracking capabilities, ensures precision and accuracy in every frame. The sophisticated and speedy AF technology on the EOS R10 takes autofocus to the next level. The camera's autofocus capabilities assure clean and crisp shots, whether shooting fast-moving subjects or capturing complex details. With the EOS R10's 4K video recording capabilities, you can unleash your creativity in action. With powerful video features and in-body image stabilization for flawless filming, you can easily create cinematic masterpieces. The user interface of the camera is developed with photographers in mind, providing a fluid and customizable experience. The user-friendly touchscreen display and configurable buttons make it simple to navigate settings and capture your vision. With built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can stay connected on the road. Transfer photos with ease. The EOS R10 is designed for long-term use. Its weather-sealed design assures dependability in a variety of shooting settings, allowing you to pursue your hobby without restriction. Number 4 Fujifilm X-T5 At a cheaper price point, the Fujifilm X-T5 is an excellent choice. With a 40-megapixel APS-C sensor, it's one of the best cameras for landscape and portrait photographers, providing you lots of room to crop and edit your images. While it isn't as well suited to low light shooting as full frame options, the detail and image quality you can get out of this camera at this price point is hard to top. The camera also pays homage to Fujifilm's photography history with vintage style exposure dials that make adjusting settings on the fly a pleasure and a three-way tilting screen that's ideal for waist level shooting and street photography. It is also quite portable. If you want a more sturdy camera with better ergonomics for studio work, consider the Fujifilm X-H2. It has the same sensor as the X-T5, but a larger body and more features for hybrid or video shooters, such as a full-sized HDMI connection and CF Express card slot. However, it is more expensive and less portable. The Fujifilm X-T5 is an APS-C mirrorless camera. In a lot of ways, it represents a return to the photography-oriented roots of the X-T series, whereas the Fujifilm X-T4 was the most video-oriented camera in the series thus far. The X-T5 brings back the three-way tilting screen of the Fujifilm X-T3, has a lighter and more portable body, and shares its new 40.2 MP X-Trans CMOS5 HR sensor. The HR stands for high resolution, with the flagship Fujifilm X-H2. This is the camera for individuals who want the classic Fujifilm shooting experience, with dedicated exposure settings and a strong emphasis on photography in an increasingly video-centric industry. Number 3 Sony A6700 The Sony 6700 is the greatest mid-range camera for photographers that we've tested. This hybrid model has a 26MP crop sensor and produces excellent image quality. It's also relatively portable, having a tiny form that's easy to transport 
and an outstanding battery life. Furthermore, it offers one of the best and most dependable autofocus systems on the market, with sophisticated subject identification and tracking, not to mention in-body image stabilization and a large variety of native and third-party lenses. Consider the Fujifilm XS20 alternative if you don't want to mess with RAW files as much. Fujifilm is well known for its superb JPEG color science and film imitation profiles, making it a perfect alternative for individuals who prefer to capture photos directly from the camera. It too includes IBS to let you shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds, and it boasts excellent ergonomics. However, its autofocus isn't as good as Sony's A-driven AF, making it less suitable for fast-moving scenes like sports or wildlife. The Sony A6000 700 is an excellent choice for trip photography. It's reasonably small and portable, with outstanding ergonomics and a long battery life. It's also a really well-made camera, having a weather-sealed body to keep out factors like rain and dust. The image quality from its APS-C sensor is superb, and the camera boasts an excellent image stabilization technology that allows you to shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds. It also features an excellent autofocus system that tracks moving targets quite effectively, even in busy environments. However, its viewfinder isn't the most user-friendly. The Sony A6000 700 is an excellent landscape camera. Its APS-C sensor captures great overall image quality, and there are a plethora of native and third-party lens options for Sony's E-mount. The camera is extremely lightweight, so it won't tire you out after long days on the road, and it has a long battery life. It's also well-made and weather-sealed, with a convenient SD card slot for those who prefer to shoot with a tripod. The Sony A6000 700 is ideal for wildlife and sports photography. Despite not having the fastest shooting speed on the market, it can nevertheless shoot at a high maximum burst rate. It also includes an excellent autofocus system, as well as a very dependable A-driven subject tracking capability that allows you to track certain subjects, such as birds or animals, and recognize different areas of the body. It also captures high-quality images. However, its viewfinder isn't particularly comfortable to use. Number 2 Sony A7 IV The Sony 7 IV is the best photography camera we've tested. It's a well-rounded hybrid model that falls just short of pro status. It improves on the widely popular Sony 7i with a new 33MP sensor that captures highly detailed photographs and allows you to crop and edit freely. Sony's real-time focusing system is likewise impressive, with extremely reliable subject identification and tracking to keep moving subjects in focus. That being said, it is far from a perfect camera. It does have in-body image stabilization, IBS, although we've seen better stabilization implementations. When shooting uncompressed RAW files, the camera's maximum burst rate reduces to 6-ups which is somewhat disappointing for high-level sports or wildlife photography. In that regard, the equivalent Canon EOS R6 Mark U has it beat, with 12 VEPS burst shooting or up to 40 EPS in electronic shutter mode. However, the 7IV has an advantage due to the large array of glass available for Sony's E-mount, including plenty of third-party lenses at varying price points. The Sony 7 IV is ideal for landscape photography. Its full-frame 33-megapixel sensor captures a remarkable amount of detail and produces clear, appealing photographs right out of the camera. Number 1 Canon EOS R50 If you're on a small budget, the Canon EOS R50 is the ideal camera for photography. It's an excellent pick for beginning photographers due to its simple and intuitive controls and a variety of auto-shooting settings that allow newbie photographers to experiment with various photography techniques. It also features a highly accurate and simple autofocus technology, and it's incredibly portable for vacation or street photography. Unlike the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, which it practically replaces, 
This is a good camera to learn with because it uses the same lens mount as full-frame Canons, such as the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. This implies that the R50 can use both APS-C and full-frame lenses, making it easier to upgrade to a full-frame body later. Guys, that concludes our top 5 best cameras for photography of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.